Gango tutorial. Now that we have built our um, model for our categories, we want to go ahead and be able to display um, each post in each category. So we need to create a view for that. So let's go ahead and create a view. So in your views.py files, let's go ahead and do uh, uh, we'll define a function of a list of posts by category. All right, and it's going to take uh, two arguments. So we'll take a request and then we'll call it category slug. Just like uh, we did down here in um, post detail, we're going to need to be able to get a slug for the category. So we'll do category slug. All right, so in this view, first thing we want to do is get all the categories. So we'll do categories is uh, going to be category dot objects dot all and below that we'll do post equals po capital P post objects dot filter and we'll do status of published because we only want the published ones to be displayed on this category page um, now, if we have a category slug, um, if we return to category slug, then we want to um, return the proper category um, and have our post match that category. So I'm going to do an if statement in here, if category slug, all right? So if we have a category slug in our URL, then do the next two things category is equal to uh, get object 404 in here capital category and then uh, slug is going to be equal to category slug all right so if we have a category slug in our URL then um, get the object of 404 from category and slugs going to um, be category slug. All right. Um, then we'll do post is equal to post dot filter, and this is going to have to be category is equal to category. I believe that will work. Whoops, not slug category. All right. So we want. The category to match our post, so we want to be able to post the category that matches it. All right, and then we need to do template um, blog, and then we'll do category. We're going to create a new uh, directory, and then we'll do list of posts by category dot HTML that will be our template we're going to return and then context is going to be equal to a dictionary and in this dictionary we're going to have um, categories categories is one of our variables um, post is another variable and um, uh, category. So category would be another one. All right. Now it's getting a little long. And let's go ahead and return render. And we're going to return the quest, same as we have done a couple times now template and context. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, we're going to take a request. We're going to take a URL that has a category slug. And if it has a category slug, I don't know if this statement is necessary right now, but we'll leave it there for a second. Um, so, we'll go ahead and take a look at this. So, let's set up our URLs.py. And in here, we're going to create a um, URL 
So your R L and in here raw string. And we're gonna match this. And I'm just gonna say category. Alright, so instead of um, it's starting with the slug like up here we're gonna have it say category and then um, we're gonna match the slug so uh, parentheses in there question mark P and then open carrot and then we're gonna do category slug and then close to carrots square brackets minus uh, forward slash W plus and outside parentheses backslash dollar sign and a quote. So it's similar to what we did up here we just basically add a category and then we have to map it to the view so views dot uh, what do we call it I don't remember list of posts by category list of post by category, category, and comma, then we'll use the same name, list of post by category, save that, um, all right, so we got a URL, looks like it should work. And um, since we're going to be using absolute URL again, we got to go into our models and we got to set up absolute URL. So below meta, well, it doesn't really matter where, we're going to set up a absolute URL. So we're going to find a function and then we'll get, get absolute URL. And in here, take an argument itself. Then we're going to return reverse and we'll do blog colon list of post by category. Should have shortened that a little long. And then args is equal to square self dot slug. All right, so we got absolute URL set up. <clears throat> same thing we did before with the absolute URL. Uh, same thing with the URLs. Basically, all we did was change category, and we threw in a variable of category slug. So there's nothing different there. Um, the only thing we did different in views was the if statement here, which I'm still questioning if we still need that. But we'll leave it as is for now. Um, I don't know. Um, now we need to create a, uh, a directory in blogs. So we'll create a new folder and we're going to call this category and in category, create a new file. We're going to call that, save that. And this is going to be list of posts by category dot HTML. Mm -hmm. List underscore list of posts by category dot HTML. Save that. All right, so then we get a list of posts over here. Let's just copy this file, list of posts that's in your post directory. We'll paste it in here. And let's take a look at what we want to change here. Let's go ahead and make this dynamic. So we'll put a variable in here. And we'll do um, category dot name. All right, so our title is going to match our category. Sorry, I'm just reading through this real quick to make sure. And that should be good. If you want to throw a... Um, and we throw an h1 tag up here if you want to say what category you're in and you just copy this up here and save that now next we need to what i want to do is um our list of posts 
Um, let's go on our list of posts over here. And I want to actually include a link to our categories in here. So well, let's go ahead and say written by the author on a certain date in we'll just say it's in a certain category so we'll put a cat our category variable here and we'll just say post oops post with an s category uh, wait, we're done to in your URL sorry we need to create a URL so we need to do a href is equal to and then close out our carrot and then close out a so in here will be our URL so that's going to be post dot category dot get absolute URL and right here we'll name this the variable or put a variable inside for our a tag call and that's going to be our actual category okay so we're going to post then we're going to category then we're getting uh, get absolute URL so post category absolute URL is that right Oops, category absolute URL. Yep. Okay. Um, and then we can just go ahead and try this out. So let's go ahead and open up one of these guys. Refresh it. Hopefully we have no errors. No errors. All right. So I got a little link here. Tutorials. Click on that and keep our fingers crossed. Name error. Category is not defined. Let's. Well, I'm gonna go back there. Category is not defined. Probably in my views. Ah, to use category in our views, we have to import it. So C A T G O R Y. So there you go. We import category, now we can use it category. If you didn't see what happened there, it said name category is not defined. Well, the only time we really use category as a capital in any of our code is in the view as a, or as a, um, we're grabbing the model. So this is the only place we really use it. We use it here too, because I get two of the statements. So Got to look into that. But anyhow, um, that's where our issue was. So let's go back and refresh our page. Uh, we'll see if that gives us something better. And it does. If you notice, now we got blog category tutorials. So if you would like to go into your admin section and create a couple more, uh, you'd be able to click on your uh, on your um, category here, and it'll take you to a list of tutorials that match that. Uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and make sure that works before I say it does. So we'll just create another post. And we'll put it in the same category. Actually, we'll create another post and put it in a different category. So we'll say, uh, we'll just say snippet, snippet, and we'll give it a title as second post content. Second post. It's getting hot in here. Second post. Second post, author, and then published, and then save. And we'll go back in here, refresh this guy. Now we should have two posts show up, which we do. And if I click on snip it, it should take me to a different category with only one post, correct. Okay, so guys, that's how we um, use categories to um, kind of separate data as well. Uh, we created a view. Inside that view, um, we get all the categories. Then we get the posts that are only published. If the category, if the category slug exists, then we get the category um, 404. 
and slug is equal to category slug, which is common from the URLs. And then post we filter for um, if category is equal to category. All right. Um, then our templates and our context and whatnot. So with that being said, we go over to our URLs real quick and we see the only difference that we really have done in this tutorial is we added category before our URL variable and category slug. Um, so other than that, we really didn't do much different, uh, much things different. So that's like how easy Django is, is to kind of manipulate your code to do different things. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, next tutorial we'll start, um, we'll put comments into our posts. So we'll see you then.